do you do you ever get nervous when you dance ever or do you you know is it are all the nerves gone now Oh gosh, no, I get nervous all the time still. I was actually just nervous right now. Um, one of the other performers said that too, like, you know, I'm still nervous, even though it's online, Miriam, I think it was, or the other lady. Um, yeah, no, I get nervous always, sometimes maybe a little less than others, but I'll be honest in saying that if I don't get nervous, then I get more nervous because I'm like, what's wrong with me? Why am I not nervous? That must mean I don't care. Something's wrong. I'm going to be jinxed. And then I get super nervous. So it's kind of like a, it's just inevitable that I'm going to be nervous. I had one. Just how did you get into belly dance, Sadie? What, why belly dance? Why not anything else? What was it that pulled your passion and your heartstrings and your soul? Well, uh, it was kind of a combination of things. I um, actually heard an advertisement on the radio by my teacher. She had a whole amazing like entertainment. She was a talent agent. So she um, created this thing. I don't know if she created it, but she was really the one here where I live in Colorado that had this whole thing she called uh, belly, belly grams. So it was like a telegram, but with belly dancing. She took it to another level. Her husband would come and do like a comedy act before she would perform. And they just did all kinds of cool stuff, but she became really famous for that. And a lot of her students, she would train them how to do these belly grams. But anyway, she, uh, she was on the radio talking about this. And I was like, what did I just hear? Like, I'm so confused. That sounds so cool, but wait, what? And I just, the word that stuck in my head was belly dancing. And I went home and this was back in like 96. So it was phone book days. And I looked in the, the phone book and found her under the dance section in the yellow pages and the rest was history. I just want to ask you, Sadie, what, what keeps you motivated and what keeps you creative? Just out of curiosity. <laughs> That's a good one. You know, it's so cool that you're asking me that because when you were performing I was so inspired by you because I love that song um and then I was like oh my gosh I love everything she's doing I'm so inspired right now Thank like you. I just get so inspired by other dancers by music by colors costumes jewelry um I think the cool thing about for me a rock sharky and belly dance is kind of hard not to be inspired it's just Stuff like this, I was just gonna say thank you again to Candace for doing this because it's so important that we just keep that spark alive between each other. Um, I will say that 20 plus years into it, it can like, you know, that spark can kind of dampen a little bit sometimes, especially now with the pandemic. It's okay. I think when it, I think as creative people, we're all creative. We have to have a little rest, a little bit of period of rest to, to allow some new things to brew up in us, right? And then all of a sudden, something will spark it again. And I can really assure people that it is a roller coaster ride, but it never truly goes away. I think if you're really in love with this dance, it's never gonna go away. You're gonna dance forever. I'll be 44 in October. Um, I started when I was 19, so I'm 25 years in. And I honestly just feel like I'm just getting started sometimes. I feel like, I have so much to do, so much to learn. And I'm really just kind of embracing that uh, I've entered a new phase of my womanhood now where I'm really more about dancing for myself than others. The first half of my career was a lot. I was trying to please people and do all the things I should do. Now I really just want to have fun and do my own thing. So I just think, yeah, it's it's always there. And even when you don't feel it, just allow that space and time for it to come back. Yeah.